continuamos con más en la cobertura especial de la Saudi Cup 2021 en Agentes 305. Con la producción y conducción del locutor hípico y publicista Carlos Morales. Nuestra invitada en este programa, la yoqueta sueca Malin Holmberg. Finalmente, les recordamos que está prohibida la reproducción total o parcial de este programa sin el consentimiento de sus productores. Amigos Agentes 305, aquí continuamos con la cobertura de este evento magno del hipismo a nivel internacional como lo es la Saudi Cup 2021, su segunda edición aquí desde de Riyadh en las instalaciones del hipódromo King Abdulaziz en Arabia Saudita. Quien tiene el gusto de saludarles a Carlos Morales, aquí acompañados por una de las participantes del Jockey Challenge, nada más y nada menos que Malin Holmberg. Holmberg. Holmberg, yeah. Holmberg, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Malin, thank you very much for sharing uh, this time with us. Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, welcome to uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, which are your expectations with this uh, participation in the Jockey Challenge? My expectations. Um, well, it's just going to be good fun, uh, great experience to ride against all the best jockeys around the world and hopefully I'll pick up a few things or two from everyone to improve my own riding. Good. Uh, do you know that in this program we also always uh, take a little bit of a review of the background of the in people that we have as, as part of the show. So, uh, you are 30 years old you are uh, doing horse riding as a professional jockey. Yes. When, when that was part of your life decision in Malin's life? Uh, I started to ride when I was five, five, six years old with uh, show jumping and dressage. Um, I went on to a little bit of pony racing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was 16, 16, 17 year old, I um, decided to go to new markets in England to the jockey school mm -hmm. to try out to be a, be a jockey or try thoroughbreds properly, not just ponies. Correct. Um, so I went there for, I stayed in new markets for eight years and I rode a little bit like as an apprentice mm -hmm. uh, before I moved back to Sweden. So. I learned a lot in England. I, I, can, I can imagine, definitely. There's, there's no like horse racing uh, industry in uh, Sweden, or there's any reason why you actually decided to go to the new market? Yes, we, we do have uh, racing in Sweden. Uh, I decided to go to new market because they have a, a great jockey school. Um, and it's a lot bigger in the UK. Mm -hmm. So I thought I, will, well, I want to learn properly and get every every ground, uh, you know, to to learn from the scratch. And are your parents uh, in the horse riding industry? No, my mom did a little bit of dressage when before she had me, but uh, uh, no, none. What does she said when you said to her like, okay, I want to be a jockey? It was actually my mom's idea to send me really? to England. But she wanted me just to be there for the one year and go come back home. Mm -hmm. So she was a little bit sad when I s decided to stay. But now I'm back in Sweden for the summer times. Uh, so she's happy for that. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, so you, you learned and you graduated yourself as a, as a, a jockey in the new market. Uh, after that, which, which was your next step in, the, in your professional career? To be honest, I moved back to Sweden um, to uh, stop, and I, I was supposed to stop riding and work with nails, uh, nail technician. Correct. Uh, but my friend invited me to come and ride for, for her and her boyfriend, and he offered me to ride a race again, because I had not been riding races for a few years. And I said yes, so I, I won this race, so I was stuck in the, in the horse racing again. So I. I that was a good call. I'm not, I don't, yeah. I'm happy I did it because it made me want to do it more. Perfect. And I continued and I've grown and improved from that.
Which are the jockeys that you admire and do you think that deserve your uh, admiration, that you like the way how they ride or their style? Uh, I don't like these questions. <laughs> I don't like these <laughs> questions because I'm, I'm like, I'm not really a starstruck person. And it's, yeah, because there's so many you see, I like that kind of riding and you mm -hmm. kind of want, I don't know, I can't, it's difficult to answer. Can we take some other questions? Yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> Let's talk about your riding right now in Dubai. Yeah. How that happen? Um, I um, I decided, because we have winter racing in Sweden, but it's very cold and it's not so much racing. So I decided I want to go abroad somewhere warmer mm -hmm. and somewhere where I can improve, get more experience and learn something more. So I, um, I emailed uh, my trainers at Hisimar and asked if I could um, come and work for them for the winter and they replied pretty much straight away the same day and said yeah, I'm very welcome to come. That's nice. So uh, how is the, the experience so far in, in, in Dubai? Very good, very good. It's it's different to back home, so I'm, I'm glad I went there. It's, you learn different kind of training theories and it's different um, style of riding and races. They go a lot faster over here than we do back at home. So yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. How long have you been in, in, in Dubai? A couple of months now, three, three and a half. Mm -hmm. Four months. So, yeah. And you're gonna, uh, is your plan to continue in Dubai or you're, you're thinking about maybe exploring other, other markets, even US? Um, I think I, I will go back, end of the season, I will go back home to Sweden to ride for the summer season. And I think I will come back to Dubai for next season. And then after that, we will see where, the, That's where nice. it takes me. That's nice. I yeah. like that. When they, send you the invitation to be part of the Jockey Challenge here at, Sa at the Saudi Cup. What was your first thought about that? I couldn't believe it first. I did never thought I was going to get an invitation like this. So I was a little bit in a shock, but so, so happy. So happy. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, one last question, and, and this is something that I always ask to all of our uh, in invited. What is horse riding for you? It's my life. It's my life. I couldn't imagine a life without riding at all. Even if it was short jumping or dressage or racing, or training, um, I want. It's always going to be a part of my life. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, what's your style? What, do you prefer to ride in in the front, uh, in the middle positions, and coming from 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 the last? I like middle to front, yeah, that's, I prefer to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, any horse that you like? Well, I have to say that my classic horse that I won on, uh, she's a very nice ride. Wha what do you remember of your first classic uh, win? Oh, oh everything. Um, I, mi I didn't miss the break, but I sat a little bit further back than the trainer uh, preferred me to do. But it they were they were going quite fast, so I was just keeping a cool, waiting for my strike today. And the, the everyone game they left the big gap on the rail, so I just took the big gap on the inside rail and just yeah, took the shortest way to to the finish line. That's nice. How many classics have you have you won so far? Two. That's nice. Yeah. So you, you you would say that that your career is just growing exponentially and and definitely I think you're gonna hit the stars and I wish you all the best tomorrow in in the Jockey Challenge um, I'm I'm pretty sure you're going to to have a, a, an amazing performance and most of everything and and which is important in this is the international exposure that you're actually going to have. Yeah. Thank you so much. And my pleasure to nah. talk to you. Thanks to you. Thank you uh, for uh, sharing this time with us. Wish you all the best and uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you everybody for sharing. And, uh, vamos a continuar con más de la cobertura de agentes de 305 desde el hipódromo de Kin Abdulaziz en Riyadh, en Arabia Saudita. Continuamos, seguimos en contacto por agentes 305.